the baseline flexibility tester. To assemble the baseline standard flexibility tester, start by assembling the box. Begin with the bottom plate on the floor. Line the foot plate holes with the holes on the front of the bottom plate with the groove side up. Line both side plates with the holes on the bottom plate. The side plates should be positioned inside the lips of the front plate, top plate, and bottom plate. Insert each of the bottom screws from the outside and tighten each of the wing nuts on the inside. Position the top plate on the top with the baseline logo facing right. The lips should cover the side plate and front plate. Insert the screws from the outside and tighten each of the wing nuts on the inside. A screwdriver may be needed to anchor the screw while tightening the wing nuts. Remove the backing from the self-adhesive chart and adhere it to a side of the box so that it is easily read. Assembling the slider. Insert the channel mount screws labeled D through the holes on the finger plate labeled B and put one Teflon spacer labeled F through each screw. Place the screws into the channel on the top plate. Insert another spacer into the screw under the top plate, followed by a spring and then a wing nut. Hand tighten the wing nuts. Adjust tension as needed by tightening or loosening the wing nuts. The slide device provides adjustable levels of friction. To assemble the modified flexibility tester, follow step one from the standard flexibility test. Place the sliding channel on top with the baseline logo facing to the right. Insert the screws from the outside and tighten each of the wing nuts on the inside. Connect the slider to the sliding channel. Place the sliding channel in the top plate groove with the scales readable from the foot plate. Make sure four holes for the stopper are on the side closer to the back of the unit. Thread the channel mount screws into the side holes on the top plate with the threaded part of the screw pointing into the channel and tighten. These screws hold the sliding top channel onto the top plate. Mount the stopper labeled G to the top plate on the holes provided. This stopper is used with the modified flexibility tester to hold the sliding top channel at one location. The nuts on the stopper may have to be adjusted for the stopper to touch the sliding top channel. Use the hitch pin to perform a standard test on the modified tester. Align the sliding top channel on the top plate so that the hole around number 18 on the sliding channel is on the top of the hole on the top plate groove. Put the hitch pin through both holes and latch it closed. The hitch pin may be stored in the hole on the back side of the unit. Contact us for more information.